Jordan, um, you know, obviously a real slow shooting start for you guys today. Is that, I mean, was that just kind of uh, hard to overcome given all the other circumstances of the game? I mean, I think it's not an excuse. Going into this season, we knew that COVID and other things with sicknesses and illnesses were going to be coming around. Um, I think at the end of the day, um, we just didn't shoot the ball well at the beginning of the game, and I think it kind of affected us in the defensive end, and we just have to learn from it. We can't let it happen again. Jordan, what made uh, Ioka Lee so effective in the, in the second half? She had 28 of their of their second half points. I mean, she's a good player. She's 6'7". She's... She has um, like a nice turnaround. She buried our post players. I think she's somebody who's hard to guard, but I also think that um, the foul trouble kind of um, threw us off what we wanted to do. And so um, we had to make adjustments and she was able to just continue to score. So we have to take that into the next game. I think there was a possession there. Uh, this chat again. Uh, I think there was a possession there where you guys were down uh, maybe four or maybe five. Um, and ended up getting a rebound, and Kamaria got it and took a shot. Were you all hoping to maybe get something else at that point, a three-point look for you or Jamie or something to, to Melissa? Um, I think Nikki just wanted us to get, like, the best shot that we could get and kind of try to score fast because, obviously, time was running out in the game. Um, I mean, we want to trust each other, and we all want to know that we could put the ball in the basket. So um, we trusted K-Mac. I mean, she missed a shot. Everyone misses a shot. So we just got to pick her up and continue. Jordan, in your guys' losses this year, you guys have made those uh, comeback attempts in the fourth quarter where you've gotten it really close. Um, what's the key looking forward to you guys starting off faster and playing with maybe more of a sense of urgency? Um, what, just what's the key to starting off faster so you don't have to try to make those uh, comebacks at the end? Um, I think we can't let our offense dictate our defense. Um, I think in all our losses, um, missed shots have led to other teams getting open looks or things where we have game slippage and forget to guard somebody a certain way. So I think we just can't let our offense or miss shots affect our defense early in the game like we did in our losses. Slow start shooting the ball. Um, is that, I mean, Jordan said you can't make excuses for things, but when you start out that slow and they get some momentum, it kind of makes it difficult the whole afternoon, right? Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I won't give them that excuse. I mean, I think there are excuses in this game. I think we were shorthanded, um, you know, but – you know, I, I think after, honestly, after Missouri <laughs> took seven and, and beat South Carolina without their leading scorer in the game, you know, I think it's hard for anyone in the country, quite frankly, to make excuses um, at this point about numbers. But, you know, I, I think we um, certainly were open early and didn't make shots, and, and that's problematic. But we've certainly done that this season um, against – opponents similar um, to Kansas State and, and fought back. I, I just felt like we were one run away um, from, from feeling good. And we just had a hard time getting on that run. Every time we'd make a run and get it to six, we'd turn the basketball over. And so because of that, our, our turnovers hurt us, to me, more than our missed shots. You know, it's, it's a, a, a missed shot, you have an opportunity to rebound but a turnover you don't. So, I mean, I think, I think we shot ourselves in the foot with our turnovers. I said going into the game on the radio, um, you know, when you, winning on the road comes down to taking care of the basketball and rebounding. Um, and, and we didn't take care of the basketball. Coach, Andrew Miner, our Daily Bears. Um, Ioka Lee was really, really uh, dynamic for Kansas State today. That She had 19 of their third quarter's 20 points. Uh, what just made her so dynamic, and how was she able to frustrate, you know, anybody that was trying to guard her um, today? She's bigger. <laughs> I mean, it, it's, not a, it's not a complicated game. She's bigger, and, and there's a simplicity to her game. Um, she doesn't try to do too much. She turns and she she uses her size to get deep and then she uses her size to turn and score and she doesn't get cute. Um, she doesn't try to do too much. She doesn't. Um, and so, you know, with, with clean and foul trouble, uh, that impacted us greatly. Um, I, I think that Queen's done a good job in the past of defending her. Um, she's she's at least long enough and and physical enough that she can play her different ways. Um, you know, we wanted to force her high. Um, uh, when she started in the mid post, keep her there. And if she was low, we wanted to get on top of her and stay on top of her. And I, I just think once Queen went out of the game, I thought I thought Caitlin worked and she got in foul trouble. So we tried Liz a little bit. 
Um, but you know, there's a simplicity to our game and, and people don't realize like, while, you know, a, a year ago, um, you know, they, they just play differently than they did a year ago. A year ago, the guards were dribbling around while she was down there um, posting up and they missed her and they'd go three or four possessions at a time without getting her touches. This year, when they come down the court they, and she is in the game, they are going to try to give her a touch on every possession. There are no plays, no plays run for any other player on that team. Um, every action is to get, come down and to overload and get her the ball. And so it just, it's, it, it becomes difficult uh, when you have foul trouble against her. I mean, this is a game I wanted to play Kate at the three with, with Liss and Queen and never could. You know, I got to do it for about two minutes um, before Queen fouled out because I thought that could be a really good lineup um, against their zone for us offensively. And I thought it would give us more size in the help side. Um, but we just never got to do it because of foul trouble. Coach, uh, for clarification, um, was Jaden, Kendra, and Andrea, were any of them with y'all? No. They're all in COVID protocol. Is that? Health and, what do we call it? Health and safety protocol? <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then you mentioned the foul trouble, obviously queen gets too early. Uh, that kind of changed your whole day of, of what, who you were putting in and how you're, what you were doing, right. Affected our rotations all, you know, I mean, even the fact that she got her third foul, you know, on an illegal screen hurt us. Cause now I'm not starting her in the third quarter. Um, so, you know, just, yeah. I mean, it affected us for sure. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, Kate, Kate battles, you know, I mean, and, and was frustrated at times. I, I thought, I thought they let her live in the lane. Um, we only got one three second call all night. And if you're going to let that kid live in the lane and, and not have her have to get out of the lane, then, then you're, you're, you're going to have problems. But I, I'm going to be honest, like you told me she was going to have 32 points and 10 rebounds. I, and, but they, you know, until we had to foul them the last couple possessions, um, that's okay. Like, I think you can single her and give her 32 and I think you can guard everybody else. Like it, it, it was, it was kind of the, us fouling people on drives, like some of the, the late missed plays where they flashed from the weak side and, and we were ball watching and, and they hit a little jumper at the foul line. Um, you know, like we, we had an athletic advantage at every other position and, you know, part of, part of being in foul trouble and part of, um, being down numbers. I mean, this is a team that you need to pressure. You need to pressure them. You need to make them uncomfortable. I mean, we, we, we turned them over 23 times. Like we, we did, and they averaged 16 a game. Or no, actually t under 12 they averaged. So we doubled up their turnovers today. Um, but a lot of them were dead ball, you know, and, and so it wasn't like we were getting in transition off of their turnovers. Um, when we got live ball turnovers, we did pretty good things with them. Um, but you know, yeah, I mean, I think, um, we could give up 32 to her and still win. Um, but, but we needed to shoot the basketball better. Um, and, and we didn't. Coach, you had a slow start today. You've had some slow starts in other games this year where you're kind of playing catch up, uh, in the second half and then trying to mount a comeback in the fourth quarter, uh, which you've done a few times. What in your eyes is the key to, uh, navigating that so you have a fast start a more efficient start so you don't have to play catch up in in the fourth quarter you know I I wish there was a magic answer to that like sometimes people have asked me like what halftime speech I gave so that they came out and competed at a different level like I think um it's about are you ready you know I mean isn't it different if Jamie hits two open threes like she hits in the fourth quarter she hits them in the first quarter I mean Jordan got wide open threes and missed them I mean <coughs> To me, um, it wasn't that we didn't get good shots. We just didn't put them in the basket. And, um, you know, we let, you know, my challenge as a coach, what I have to be better at is I've got to make sure that, you know, we challenge them all the time just because your shot isn't dropping doesn't mean you should make defensive mistakes. Like we have a game plan. Um, and if we know that, that five is going to go left, we can't, we can't give her a driving layup where we foul or drive into her left when that's that, you know, when we just talked about that. Um, so, you know, I, I think we let, I think we let the officiating, um, I, I think we let some of that bother us. 
and, and we just can't, I mean, you just have to have poise and a presence and, you know, if, if they're frustrated with the officials, they need to let me be frustrated with the officials and get on the officials. Um, and they need to play, you know, and, and maybe they, they miss some calls and maybe, and they're going to, in every game they're human, just like our players are human. Um, and you know, for me, like, I, I don't, I, I didn't love a lot of what was going on. I, I thought that Lee lived in the lane all night long. And, and, and I thought they missed some three second calls, but that's just part of it. It's part of the game. You got to battle. If she's in there for 12 seconds, you got to battle for 12 seconds. If she's in there for two, you got to battle for two. Um, you know, but I think we, we can control our attitude and effort, even when our shot isn't falling. And, and, and I thought we allowed the fact that we were down players and we had players not feel well that were playing, um, but had all tested negative. We didn't have anyone out there that we were, you know, um, but you know, people have colds, people are under the weather and, you know, so I think we had let some things that, that weren't on the court affect our ability, uh, today. Was that, uh, Melissa took six shots in each half. Didn't take a whole lot uh, other than close to the basket. Was she a hundred percent? Do you need, you know, do you need her to shoot in more different places? I mean, some of it is zone, you know, some of it is the zone and she's got to keep it's, it's very easy for me. I mean, watch any team in America. It's easy for me when teams play a zone or for teams that, that play us man to run actions to get her a ball, the ball. It's very, very easy. Um, I got a playbook full of, of ways to get her the ball. Against the zone, you got to cut to open space, you know? And, and so, you know, some of it's that. It's, it's just kind of that whole uh, moving to open space, you know, getting, getting – she usually is good in transition and, you know, we didn't get a lot of opportunities in transition uh, because of the nature of, of them shooting 50%. Um, you know, they, we were in the game because of their turnovers. So those were all kind of, I don't know how many were live ball versus not live ball, but I feel like it ends up being the same thing. They were able to set their defense and, you know, we missed her at times. There's no question we missed her. Um, that's part of why I wanted to play Kate at the three, because I thought she could flash and more easily feed the post on the high low as a bigger guard, because they're big. I mean, if their guards are all six foot tall and our guards are all five foot six. So when we cut into the lane and get a catch, it's, it's, it's not the same as seeing over the defense. We got to play around the defense, um, you know? And so, you know, I, I just, I, I felt like the last possession was, was just kind of a microcosm of the game. Like, we got the nice dive by list to the rim and, you know, she just missed an easy one at the rim and you have off nights, like players have off nights in basketball and, you know, like her off night is 12 and seven, her teammates got to pick it up for, her, you know, in that scenario, I don't think she had her best game, um, but she's been pretty darn consistent for us this, this season. And, you know, I, I think sometimes when you, when you need a, when you need a basket or you need some energy creation, you, you got to create it off of your defense. You know, you got to sit in a passing lane and be ready to play steel because you know that next pass is coming. And so look, we're, we're all really, really disappointed. Um, but I, I just think, you know, I told them before the game, I said, we just, at some point we're going to have five people or six people play their best game at the same, the same time, you know, today, I mean, Sarah's three that she made was a bank shot. Like, you know, she just didn't have rhythm and, and comfort out there, um, you know, but she was good in the first half against North Texas. And then, you know, Jordan made some shots in the second half, but Jamie didn't make, you know, where we've just been, we, we just, I'm still waiting for our guards to all kind of have one of those nights where they're all sharing it. They're all making it um, where we have both Liz getting her 20 and, and Queen uh, scoring as well. You know, Kate had a huge game against North Texas, but you know, we've, we've just had a hard time with getting them and they're getting good shots. Jordan got good shots. You know, Jamie got good shots tonight. Um, K Mac is just getting back from coming back from health and safety protocols. And so, you know, she, she was out of rhythm and turned the basketball over too much, trying to do too much. And so, you know, we just, we've got, you know, seven players in practice. So you can't even, we're playing three on three right now. You know, we're playing three on three, um, four on four, you know, because our scout guys are all on Christmas break. So we just got to figure out 
how to regroup, get better for the, our next game and, and, you know, kind of learn from this one. I mean, the goals are still the same. So it's just building off. Yeah. Build, building off that. I was just wondering if, if, if there's a thought that may, you know, is, is Melissa trying to do too much at, at times. I know she's kind of the all American on the, on the team, but as others are trying to kind of get in their groove or is there a reliance or dependence on Melissa um, sometimes to try to do too much? You know, I thought tonight, I mean, she obviously, she only had, she only had one turnover. Sometimes her trying to do too much results in turnovers. <laughs> like if you look at, so, you know, I, I don't know that she had the ball enough um, to be honest tonight. Um, but some of that's on her to, to flash into open space, to, to, you know, post when, when the post is, is the option against the zone. Does this team rely on her? Yeah. When you have the best player in America, um, your teammates are probably going to want to get you the basketball. Do I think at times, you know, we, we talked after the last game um, that for us to be the best basketball team, we can't force her the ball and turn the basketball. I thought against Michigan, um, we tried to give her the ball um, when we had better opportunities, scoring opportunities, because we know she's good. You know, these guys all know they're playing with a really good teammate and they, they want to get her the ball because she's productive when they get her the ball. Um, but it's, it's, sometimes it's about making the right play, um, not just throwing it to her, you know, and, and I used an example where against Michigan, um, Kate tried to thread the needle on a high low pass when the right play was just the ball, <laughs> the ball fake the list and throw the skip to Jamie and shoot a three. And that's when we're going to be at our best when we make the right play, um, not just force it to her. And so do I think at times we've, we've tried to force the ball to her? Yes, I do. I don't know that today um, were some of our turnovers that sure, probably. Um, but I thought, I thought our guards needs needed to be more aggressive, especially in the first half against the zone of, you know, kind of attacking the paint and then playing in or out. And we didn't do a good enough job of that. 